cabinet secretaries reporting directly to the ACS. The PS is relegated to the position where he reports to the CAS and the CS. Doubt is completely removed by their job description in Gazette Notice Number 12432 of 12 October 2022 and duties specified therein and the fact the CAS will be in a higher job group CSG3 than the PS. The Gazette Notice gave particulars of the office as follows, duties and responsibility. A chief administrative secretary will be responsible to the cabinet secretary in the performance of his or her duties. Specific duties and responsibilities shall include A, responding to issues slash questions touching on the portfolio assigned to the office. B, providing liaison with the National Assembly and Senate. Providing liaison with county governments on matters of concurrent merit, providing interministerial sectoral coordination, representing the cabinet secretary at any meeting as instructed by the cabinet secretary, and D, executing any other duties and responsibilities specifically assigned to the office by the cabinet secretary in furtherance of the interest of the ministry. Terms of service. A chief administrative secretary will serve on contract as determined by the appointing authority. B, this position is graded at CSG3 in the public service. The remuneration and benefits commensurate to this level will be applicable, unquote. We also find that well, as His Excellency, the President can establish a state office within the ranks of the public service, it requires approval by the National Assembly. Such approval may be achieved by enactment of a statute which provides for the same and further provide an appropriate framework for a cap on the numbers of CASs if necessary. In the end, we are not satisfied that the newly created office of CAS meets constitutional threshold. Having reached the above conclusion, we are nevertheless still minded to address the issue of numbers. We note that the initial approved complement rose from 23 CASs to 50. By virtue of their salary and hierarchy, we agree with the fourth petitioner that the creation of the offices would come at a substantial cost to the public. The respondents urged us to find that the office is separate from numbers and that once the office was legally in place, it was beyond the court to look into the numbers or the accompanying wage bill. And that the task fell to other bodies, such as Parliament, Controller of Budget, or the Salaries and Remuneration Commission. We have addressed that issue in a separate part of this judgment. The respondents and interested parties urged us to find that once the office of CAS was established, the complement, all number of officers, was at the discretion of either the PSC or His Excellency the President. Our attention was drawn to the case of the Judicial Service Commission, which recently advertised for six posts of Court of Appeal judges, but hired seven. We distinguish the above example from the present scenario on the basis that at the material time there was a vacancy and JSC did not overshoot the ceiling of 30 judges set for the Court of Appeal. The respondents and interested parties also relied on the decision in Sharia Mutaani Nashadrak Waboi Supra. The petitioner in that case challenged the employment of 350 persons by the PSC for the position of accountant two in the National Treasury, but when the advertised vacancies were only 250, the petition was dismissed. But that decision can be distinguished for two reasons. Firstly, in the instant consolidated petition, the office created is a high public office with substantial salaries and parks. And secondly, 
the Shalia Mtani case was dealing with hiring of lower cadre of public officers being accountants too. As we pointed out earlier, in interpreting the Constitution, this court is bound to adopt a purposive approach which seeks to give effect to the true purpose of legislation, unquote, and may examine, and I quote, material that bears upon the background against which the legislation was created. See Gatirao Peter Munya versus Dixon Mwenda Gideji. Kenya had for many years a cabinet consisting of ministers and assistant ministers whose composition or numbers was largely at the discretion of the president. The public clamor for control of the size of the executive was reflected in the draft constitution of Kenya 2005 by the Constitution of Kenya Review Commission. In the proposed Constitution of Kenya 2005, adopted at the Bomas Constitutional Conference on the 15th of March 2004, it was provided for as follows. The President, in accordance with this Constitution, shall appoint and may dismiss A, the Cabinet consisting of one, the Prime Minister, two, the two deputy prime ministers nominated by the prime minister, three, not less than 15 and not more than 20 ministers nominated by the prime minister, and then B, not less than 15 and not more than 20 deputy ministers nominated by the prime minister. The number of assistant ministers in the proposed constitution thus matched that of the ministers. Murima J in the Okia case had also the following to say of that subject and I shall not read it. The final report of the committee of experts dated the 11th of October 2010 notes that Kenyans wanted and I quote that there be a clear distinction between offices of state and offices of government unquote. Following public debates the position of the assistant minister was abolished altogether and did not make it to the Constitution of Kenya 2010. It is thus not surprising that the size of the cabinet secretaries is now capped at 22. Article 152 of the Constitution provides that the cabinet shall comprise of A, the president, B, the deputy president, C, the Attorney General, and D, not fewer than 14, and not more than 22 Cabinet Secretaries. It is therefore our considered view that the creation of a similar office to the Assistant Minister, now in name of CASS, cannot be created in the manner the first respondent and the fifth respondent proceeded. Based on the reasoning set out above, we do not think that it was the intention of the framers of the Constitution to have 50 CASs deputizing 22 cabinet secretaries. Furthermore, public participation on the office of CAS was founded on a complement of 23 CASs. Doubt is erased by the following other facts. In the letter of 11th October 2022 by Dr. Joseph Kenywa, Head of Public Service to the PSC, the Head of State requested the PSC to declare 23 vacancies for CASs. We note, however, that the special issue of Kenya Gazette Notice No. 12432, dated 12th of October 2022, and the media advertisement the following day calling for applications from suitable candidates did not set the number of vacancies. Furthermore, the stay in the Court of Appeal preserved the original office created on 24th January 2018. Once that office was abolished on 21st September 2022, the newly created office and complement of 23 office holders could no longer benefit from that stay. Accordingly, the newly created office and fresh complement of 50 had to comply 